How's it going everybody? I've got this indoor plant grow light. It's a halo ring light for Misty Jungle. Let's check this thing out. This one's black, but you can get them in white and silver. It's got 10 levels of brightness. It's all adjustable. Uh, LEDs, timing switch control, and of course the power on off button. Here's everything that came in the box. This thing's gonna be so easy to assemble. So you got the light itself, but first of all, really kind of work from the base up. Got the base here. Comes with the directions as well, but it's a nice, nice heavy metal base. And out of the bottom of it, see it's got spacers on the bottom, so it doesn't sit totally flush on the ground. There's room for the wire to come out underneath it. And that's the control right there that, that comes with the wire that connects to the power. So this will connect here and you get all your adjusting functions there. And this thing will go up through the, the poles here. The poles will thread down on here, go up through the poles, and then the light will snake down through there. And these things here will connect to each other. I'll show you. And when you pull it out of the box, you go, gosh, this thing looks really short, but actually you see what happens here? You got a lot of, lot of length on this. Okay, now there is an order that these things go on here. So the very first one you want to put on has two female ends. And that's going to thread right down there, but we're going to thread this wire down through it, or up through it, I should say. You got the wire coming out through there. Okay, there's that one. Now the next two is going to be this down, the male end down. It's going to go down through there. The next two are going to be like that. Okay, now I'm putting the second one on there. Actually, the third pole, but the second of the same type. If you wanted this light a little bit shorter, you can just leave out one of these here. One of these two sections. And the last pole that's going on has that in the top. That's where the light's going to go down through. Okay, here's a little tip. So, trying to get this thing up there. Is it you can do it, but the thing is trying to snake it up through there and have that thing come out that hole having some problems. It's kind of hitting the inside lip, which is fine because all I'm going to do is take this piece from the light here and go down that way with the light piece. I'm just going to push that down through that hole and connect. It was a little bit of a tight fit coming past those threads, but it went in just fine. As you can see now, the light here will just thread right down into that. And on this end, I have this. Now I can connect, connect it here. Now I can take this, put it right on here, and I'm threading the light down to that pole first. Now that I've got it all together, I'll go ahead and connect this end, coming out the bottom, to the power cord here. This is one tall light, but it's perfect, because it can hit some of the hanging plants, and then you can also angle it down to hit some of the, uh, the lower ones. Let's check this out. Here's a look at the controller and what it can do. Okay, that's power on off. There's the dimming function. So there it is, dimmed down. All the way bright. We'll angle it down to a 90 degree. It's got this nice swivel head on here. So you can angle it down to get these plants here. Very nice, very versatile. All right, now this function on the switch here this one, that's three, nine, or 12 hours. So that's the timer. It'll shut off after three, nine, or 12 hours. Hey, don't forget to remove the plastic film from the, the front of this either. All right, thanks for watching, you guys.